Whoa, what's going on? I think you might be having a coronary going through your artery. Nothing? No reaction? You're literally gonna let me do my intro? You're not even gonna fucking smile? You know what you need? A pet raccoon. What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review and the purposes of carrying them in the store. Alright, so here's the deal. I didn't get sent one of these. But let me just mention something. First off, when I got this product, and I got it from a wholesale website because I was going to carry it in the store, I'm like, alright, let me just get some one extra one just for me so I could do the review. But lo and behold, when I got it, it came with the coil, but it didn't come with a pod. You can buy them with pods, but that's not the main way that this is distributed. It's the same thing that they did with the Lost Vape. I don't know why companies are doing that. I get it that they're going to use the argument to get around customs or... I, I really don't know the excuse. But the fact that you're going to include a coil... So, let's just say Bobby Jack's Vape Shop carries these. And he buys them from his favorite wholesale distributor. Now, when I got these, I didn't see anything in regards to, okay, this only comes with a coil. So that's fine. So here I am looking at all these different distributors. Where can I get an empty pot? Couldn't find any. Found one. I was like, all right, well, this is Chinese, but I'm going to have to get these pods because I can't sell the device with just the coil and the thing, the, the jammy. When you get a pod, it doesn't come with any juice in it, which is fantastic. You could use your own. However, it uses a very, very common coil called the Aspire BVC. Also, the Kangertech K1 coil or uh, the Vision, I believe, Ego Spinner? Or it might have been the Mini Spinner. You'll see. It's the same one as like the one that's in the Sprite. Tony B is a man that knows high end, right? Well, I would like to think he knows high end. So he, he's aware of the billet box. You take something like this, and you can't but help but think of the billet box. Now, this doesn't take an external battery. It is a pod-based system. It's much smaller, but Artery, I did a review on their PAL, P-A-L, post link right there. Essentially, it was just like a billet box clone. I don't know if I would go as far as calling it a clone. It was just very, very similar to what we all know as the billet box. Maybe this is just me, but we know at this point, I am so honest with you guys. I'm even honest with other reviewers. This is just the way that I am. If you don't like me, then I don't know what to tell you, but I honestly, legitimately have met Tony B face to face. I've sat down with the man, had a couple little things to eat. We've shot the shit, and I've never in my life seen him use a pod based system. Now it is possible that it was so stealthy that I didn't see it. That's possible. It's also possible for me to have a unicorn in my backyard as a pet. So I don't know what you want to call this. I'm not going to sit here and call this a cash grab because I don't necessarily think that that's what it is. Now the Vanny Vape 90 watt box mod, that's a different story. But the 80 watt, no. The Pulse V2, well we're just gonna go over that one aren't we tony b is coming out with multiple things at one time for some reason i find that so hard to believe that someone is sitting there drawing things up on a day-to-day -day basis with multitude of different companies to come up with something now i don't want to downplay it or debunk it i'm just saying that it's weird that the pulse v2 squawk just came out and now here this is two very different devices yes granted but what else would you call that so I got this just because I love the billet box and I was so interested in what this is. Because I started doing some pod based systems. I'm trying to go back into a little bit of pod based systems, kind of mix it up a little bit, a little cocktail mixer, afternoon delight. This device that I have right now, if you're not paying attention when you're buying this online, if you do decide on buying it, make sure that it comes with a pod, which is like this. And the coil is on the inside. Now, once the coil goes bad, you have to buy new coils, just like everything else. And once the pod goes bad, I have no idea how a pod goes bad. I... <laughs> Let me not waste any more time. Let me bring this down. Show everything inside of the box, even though it's just a kit. It's not even a kit. It's just a... It's just a square that needs a bunch of other shit to work. Let's flip it. 
so this is the box and of course it is sealed I did not want to take that out because there's something I want to show you with this with these stickers that I feel is it's not that big of a deal it's just a display but I had to get an extra pod all by itself I'm not quite sure if you do buy this with a pod if it comes like this or if it's actually inside the box on the back of the box you're gonna see this lovely little star that says pods not included now again there may be that option where you could buy it with the pods these are the aspire versions of the same coils that work inside of this pod and of course they look just like this nothing like we haven't seen before inside the pod box i'm gonna say three mils again there may be a tpd compliant version not 100 percent sure all i know is what's in front of me that i had to pay for everything of course i got it for wholesale so it's kind of like a win-win jammy some o-rings in a peripheral bag keep in mind when you do get the pod there is no coil on the inside of it you kind of see it is empty what you're going to do is put your coil inside of this little carrier system and then that's going to go in there and of course you fill it up through these little ports right here on the side again i'm not a hundred percent sure why it says push it doesn't do anything unless they expect me to do that to prime it i have no idea and it's not connected to anything i, I don't know and no i'm not going to watch a video on how to do it so this is the box mod you have a sticker up here tony b project a pal 2 mod pod sold separately for your happy vape experience and then the box is on the inside here again this is a pod based system on the side of the box artery vapor and then a upc on the other side you're going to have their social media and then a quick response code it's almost like this is a very generic box and then the details are just printed on a piece of like a label and then slapped on the box and this is the official retail version like seriously no joke like not trying to be snarky shitty shitty deal like that is just absolutely yuck this goes to show you how lazy this company is up here on the top you're gonna have a sticker but the odd thing is underneath this sticker is another sticker that's gonna show you check this out this is gonna it's gonna jostle your brain about ready so it says i don't want to get that out of the scene tony b project a Tony B project. It's literally the same exact thing. The only difference is, is they printed it on the box, but they used the capital R and I guess he got pissed off or somebody did and they just redid it with a lowercase cursive R. You know, funny thing is nowadays in school, they don't even teach cursive anymore. Down here on the bottom, same type of deal, PAL2 mod, watch this. So it says PAL2 right there and the sticker actually says PAL2 as well, but this says mod versus this. I'm assuming that's because this was actually gonna include everything. And then they realized either the box was too small or there wasn't enough of money to be made doing it that way. Hmm. Well, I could tell you this. Wow. On the door itself, you have some scratches. I'm not quite sure as to why that is, if that's something that they did to do a scratch test or... I'm not really 100% sure, but something that's really, really cool that is very, very meticulous is on the corners of the magnet, there's little holes almost like any kind of runoff of crazy glue would go through that. It's pretty well thought out, especially for a magnet. I'm here to tell you that this thing is extremely lightweight and feels like nothing. There's your airflow for said such pod, micro USB to charge it. This is the same size as a credit card. You can see the size difference. It's much smaller than a credit card, but it is a lot fatter. Two coils on the bottom. I was very much unaware of that. 0.6 and a 1.2. The 1.2 is going to be more of a mouth to lung draw versus the 0.6, which is going to be more of a direct lung type of style. And of course, that is the one that we're going to use. Again, just comes with a manual, micro USB, and then two different coils. No pod. Paper, same thing as well. Tony B Project with a capital R instead of a lowercase. A wa warranty card. QC pass. You're gonna screw your coil into the adapter. Airflow is going to be on the bottom of this. Of course, we're gonna leave this wide open. Again, when you get these coils, just try to prime them. Well, not really prime them per se, just get them a little saturated. It's gonna screw into here like so. To fill this up, we're just gonna put that in the mod like that. Very difficult to see how much juice is going in there. Once again, that is the Artery PAL 2 pod base system. Let's bring it on the top. Getting a little loopy poopy. All oh, right, back on top with the PAL 2 kit. All right, so when I saw the picture of this, the first thing I thought of is, okay, that's gonna be like the belt box. Now that I'm holding it and using it, it's not really anything like a billet box whatsoever. Something worth mentioning, on the Breeze and the Breeze 2, you can use a little bit of thicker juices just because of it's not a typical traditional type of pod, and neither is this. You have a coil that has really nice sized ports in it that allow you to get that thicker juice, 70-30, maybe 80-20, that is a little bit viscous, but 
versus other ones, sort of like the one I just did a review on that had a very, very small coil. So it's not as diverse as something like this is. And being able to put your own juice in is fantastic. Here's the deal though. I have six milligram traditional nicotine inside of this paradise. Let me show you some vape production. Oh, that coil hits. You know what would been really cool? If pull to activate actually worked on this. But I don't think that's a feature that they're pushing because there's no mention of it anywhere. As with all pod-based systems, I don't really give it a rating just because there's not really a lot for me to rate. It's just the battery capacity, how small and compact it is, and whether or not I would recommend it. I don't think that this is a bad device whatsoever. I do like the fact that the coils that are being used in this is a very, very large company, and those coils are all over the place. So you don't have to worry about buying this and trying to figure out, oh shit, I need to get coils. I hate to compare this to the vape it's just that a lot of people i know are using that as a pot based system those pods come with the coil already inside of it these do not you're able to swap them out and keep the same pod rolling now there is something that needs to be mentioned but i'm not going to mention it just because i don't know colors very well to mention it so i'm just going to let brie take over she's kind of in the back but you'll be able to hear what she has to say uh, the purple and the red that's shown online and in 20 b's video are completely different in saturation from what you actually get. It's like an off purple that's really, really light in color and an off red that's really, really light in color. In his video and in pictures online, it makes it look like a deep, vibrant purple and a really rich red. And that is not what you get at all. So you're saying that online it looks better than that of it actually when you get it? Yeah, either they Like it's prettier online? Oh yeah. They adjusted the saturation for the photos, or he got different ones with his first batch. And it is a little bit hard to tell that just because when I'm doing reviews on certain products and I have the camera pointed down, it, the camera doesn't pick up certain colors and then it makes other colors look more brighter than what they are. So that may be a camera setting. It's just a little awkward that there's two different, you said two? Yeah, like the ones online are a nice purple. The one that you get is a whatever. You're saying purple. even like the pictures. Yes, sir. So not only are the reviews a different color, the pictures are a different color than what you actually get. Now, the version I'm using is black, so it's a little hard to tell the difference between the two because black is black. It's really not a bad device. I, I don't, most pod-based systems I don't give ratings on, but I am going to give a rating on this just because I did it on the Breeze, the Breeze 2, and then on the DNA Orion, same type of deal. So if I was to rate this, on a zero to 10. First off, when you get this, if you get this, make sure you look up whether or not it comes with a pod because you're gonna be shit out of luck. If you buy this without a pod, thinking, okay, this is gonna be good to go when I get it. That's something you have to really take note of. Very, very important to see that. If I was to rate this on a zero to 10, I'll give it 5.56. I don't think it's terrible at all. You have to be careful when you vape it that your hand is not over where the airports are because they are right on the side, just like they are in a billet box. Again, I was really going into this with the idea of, okay, this is gonna be a clone of a billet box. It's not though. It, it's really, really not. And the 0.6 coil that comes with this, that mesh type hexagon honeycomb coil, it. You almost would get away with using like a three milligram in this. That's how hard that hits. Now the 1.2, I'm not really going to need to try just because I've already tried some of the one ohm and 1.2 coils from Aspire back in the old K1 days. If I had to pick between this, the Lost Vape, or any of the Breezes, I would probably pick the original Breeze just because I really, really thoroughly liked it. The Lost Vape was good as well, like extremely well done. This just falls in the lower tier of all of those. There's no little window on the side to show how much juice is left remaining inside of the pod. You kind of do have to take the back door off, but it's not that big of a deal because it is two minuscule magnets. It would have been really cool if inside the package there were two extra magnets because we all know at this point in time that we've used so many devices, we're used to seeing magnets fall off and it would suck if they fell off and you lost it for this because you don't want to rubber band your shit it's gonna look silly it's gonna look like one of those balls you made in sixth grade where you take the rubber band and you make a rubber band ball never even bounced good like what is that about vapor production is pretty good and the flavor is really really good especially with that 0.6 I, i'm thoroughly impressed with the coils that come with this and i've kept it real have you